So you are trying to get onto your computer. You've typed in your password, and it says, Welcome, oh, no. it's loading, and, and any moment now it's going to fail. Because we forgot our password, and we don't want to go to Best Buy and spend all that money. Yeah, but Geek Squad actually gives you terrible rates. Find a local computer shop, like us, yeah. if you're in the Northeast Ohio. Because we will fix it for you. So if you have any computer questions, give us a call. Or if not, give us a call anyways. So send us an email, <laughs> or, or comment, or subscribe. But anyways, preferably an email, or a text, or an email. Okay. Anyways, we have something I got called the Password Master. Actually, it's not really called the Password Master. It's called Registry Clearer. But I'll show you how to get it after I. Clear What's the it password. called? It's Registry Clearer. It's N S. Registry Clearer. Yeah, I'll show you. Is there any other part of the name? It's a long name. It's a long name. I'll Okey show dokey. you how to get it. I'll put in the link and the download in the description. Anyway, so we gotta turn the computer off. <laughs> put in the CD drive. We'll just cut one out. There we go. Made it just in time. So, we insert our CD. And you can... Oh, you oh. can see my reflection for a little bit. Then turn the computer Hold. all the way off because insert Bob your CD. confused me. Hold your power button for approximately five seconds until the standard computer motherboard will turn off. Turn the computer on. And then, and only then, once the disc is inserted, the disc will boot. This will load up. And the disc will be like, I am about to boot. Now in, most com now, in most cases, your motherboard will not let something like a CD run from auto boot if it's made that way. It depends on what your boot order is. Um, in this la on this laptop, the case is that it will try to boot from a CD before it will boot from the hard drive. And, and this is have. Windows Reset Password Registry Editor, Editor Boot CD. Um, some really cool dude named... Peter Nordhall Hagen. Sounds like German. Uh, distributed under the GNU GPL version 2 license, which probably means this is either Unix based. It's Linux. Which is a Unix based yeah. operating system. And then you just want to hit enter or it'll load by yourself if you're taking too long. And it'll pull up all your files. So while this may look complicated, keep in mind the only step we did was press enter. enter. We didn't even type a command. And I love this because all you got to do, see how it has candidates, windows, preservation found. One or two. And it's usually one, but I mean, if it doesn't work the first time, you just gotta push. Yeah, and what what this means is candidate Windows partition found. That just means possible partitions you can clear. Um, Unix-based systems usually have forward slash dev forward slash SDA and then a number. Obviously, your larger hard drive is your master boot. That's the backup hard drive. That's about approximately eight gigs, and it'll say boot on the end there. So we're gonna push one and enter. It's gonna load and it's gonna say. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. And then you want to click yes. So why? Then it'll take a couple minutes, maybe. And it'll load up all your system files from System32. And then enter. And what that just did there is it asked us if Windows System32 is our main registry folder. And just about every case in the universe, it is. talking about Microsoft Windows, that's going to be your case. And then we can see here, password reset, SAM system security. And SAM is your what your password is stored in. And what this program does is find, it found a backdoor into SAM, and we can get rid of our password. So we push hold on, one. Hold on. What are, the, what are these other commands here? I mean, recover if, if you console. press 1, that'll do the password reset and the SAM system recovery. SAM's just a piece of software. Or if you press 2, it says recovery console parameters. That's just a piece of software. We don't know what that does yet. We don't care what that does. Or quit. Return to the previous menu in case you messed something up. And then we push 1 and enter. And then it'll say edit user beta and passwords. And you will press yet again 1 and enter. And then this is a really tricky part. You can see here 14 places has a lock on it. The administrator has a lock on it. And the guest has a lock on it. Now, you might have to try this a few times, but um, since I know my computer is 14 places and I'm the registered user is 14 places, I will go 14 places, type my username. And then you simply just hit enter. Okay, so that's your, that's your, um, that's your main account, your, mm -hmm. ad, your administrator yep. is also the same name. Okay, that yep. works. 
and then it'll say duh, 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 where's it at held count oh and then you gotta say see here how it says clear password you can edit password but it's not recommended because it doesn't work every time so okay so so what we want to do is we just want to clear our password and then you can do it from windows once you get back on yep and then you hit one again and enter and then look what it says password cleared that was really quick and then you hit uh, control or shift and then the exclamation mark and enter and then it'll say what to do do it and then you push quit again do again and then it'll say about to write files do it and then you put yes and then you say, just type y that stands for yes yeah it says edit complete edit complete and then you can either go back thing and then control alt delete and i'm gonna restart my machine and pull this out this is the tree part you gotta eject the disk i should have ejected it before the disk out <laughs> a little bit of trouble trouble with the disk drive so when it was normally and normally that wouldn't happen, but the way we shut down Windows earlier, we just turned the computer off. We just held the power button. So normally that won't happen, it'll just go straight into Windows. La di da, Windows 7 is a wonderful thing. Some days. Well, I, I, given the condition of this particular computer, I'd say it works really? pretty well for you. I mean, whatever, what happened to the key right there? Oh, it kind of fell off. Bob threw it across the room in an angry fit against my cat and fell off. I just met your cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, whatever. So I destroy computers now. That's a so great load thing. Up. Mm, that's gonna go welcome. And here we are. And because on this particular computer there was only one account, not multiple accounts, it's gonna skip the login screen because we just took our password off because Windows by default will log in automatically and you can say congratulations we have done it now let's connect to the internet and let me show you where it's at because guess what if you don't burn the disk you don't have the program yeah we're gonna show you where to find the ISO that you can burn to the disk don't fly there remember it's under it's under a GNU license which means it is absolutely free um, you'll have to look at the details, though, if you're a programmer and you see if you want to edit it, improve it, or whatnot. Well, I'm sure in most cases that's, that's not free. a problem. And What's why this is my computer's loading up, because we just restarted it. Um, if you need any help on your computer, me and Bob could fix pretty much anything you want. Or if you would like us to customly design a computer for you, we can do that, too. Yes, yeah, so if, you if you are located in the uh, northeast Ohio or the uh, County, Pennsylvania. West, or western Pennsylvania area... Um, go ahead and contact us. You know, don't be shy. And we'll come down. We'll come to your house, pick it up, or you can bring it to us. Whichever is better. All right. All right. We're back, and it turns out the URL to get this is www. In case you don't like typing http colon forward slash forward slash uh, pogo stick dot net forward slash squiggly line p n h forward slash n t p a s s w d forward slash you can see that you can see it on the screen right now, and we also have a link in the description. But there it is for you. And here, it's really simple to get it. You just go how to get it. Password. You want to click here to put it, burn it to a CD. It'll burn down the image, and you need a CD like this one. You need a blank mm -hmm. CD, and the link you want to click on is password reset CD USB boot disk instruction and image to download, and, and that is the first link on the page. And as soon as you download it. It'll pop up and say burn to disk. You put the disk in, hit burn, and voila, there's a program. Turn your computer off. Oh, it runs as is an executable? Yep. Oh, cool. You don't right even need there. a disk burning program. Nope, it just burns right to the disk. That's gorgeous. Yes. Yep, it's an awesome program. And um, leave comments on the bottom. And if you got any questions about computers, let us know. Or any questions about this video, this has been an I'll Never Forget It.com video from Josh and Bob. Talk to you later. Have a good night. You too. Thank you.